Welcome back DIY enthusiasts. Today we're having a sighting episode lined up as we dive into the world of pressure washer repairs. In this step-by-step -step tutorial we'll show you how to replace that pressure washer pump and bring the power back to your cleaning prowess. So let's dive in. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button because we're about to unleash a whole new level of DIY awesomeness. It's time to conquer that pressure washer pump replacement one spray at a time. So let's get to it. Right guys, so just a little backstory. My pump has burnt out, it just keeps overheating. Um, I think it's time for a new one. So I've got a new replacement pump. This is a direct from the manufacturer. It's a slight upgrade because I've gone for the brass pump head rather than an aluminium pump head like my old one. But it's got the same pressure output and the same litres per minute. This is a 12 litres per minute machine, peak pressure, 4,000 psi. So that's the new pump. All right then guys, first thing we need to do is obviously take off the old pump. So I'm just going to loosen the bolts. You have the four bolts here. need to loosen them up it's a bit awkward to get into some of these bolts uh, as you can tell because the trouble is the pump rather gets in the way and I'll show you in a minute we've got a really awkward bolt coming up this one's probably the easiest one to get out need to make sure we put these bolts to the side because a new pump doesn't include bolts right so as you can see this bolt here I can't get spanner in I can't get that in properly because of this wheel so I'm going to remove the wheel I've already loosened the nutter so I'm just going to jack it up with a brick keep it level and I've already pre-loosened the nut it's just a 16 mil bolt that comes off. I'm in a lot of trouble with that. Right, our flexible shaft. There we go, that's popped it off. You can see that was stuck right in there. Sometimes, once you've got it off, it's easier just to unscrew it by hand. So, make sure we keep our bolts lined up, and that's all the nuts off. Right then, guys, so we just go and slide the pump off. There we go. And you'll notice we've got our keyway here. Now this piece is very important because you don't get it with your new pump so you need to make sure you keep, keep that to take off this old pump. Now as you can see this keyway it fits into that into this groove here so it just fits in like so. Right. And as you can see the inside of our new pump we've got that keyway there so we just need to line them up all right guys so you want to get your keyway lined up with the motor it's going this way up so you just want to get 
okay, why? Um, and insert light, so there we go. So I'm hoping you saw that all right. But it might help if completely properly lined up. Yeah. Right guys, so I've just got the first bolt in there and I'm going to put the opposite bolt in now in a cross pattern and it's just good practice to do that to make sure Everything is secured in proper. Let's, uh, let's go back to our other ratchet. There we go. So we're just doing it up. Nice. and there you have it brand new pump fitted so now we just need to test it out I'll put the wheel back on and we'll test it out Right guys, thanks for watching my video on how to change a pressure washer pump. As you saw from that brief demonstration there, it's certainly back up to power. It's got rid of that black spot like nobody's business. So, another successful pump change. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.